to my grandmother by frederick locker lampson read for LibriVox.org by dream of blue .org, to celebrate grandparents day 2006 this relative of mine was she 70 and 9 when she died by the canvas may be seen how she looked at 17 as a bride beneath a summer tree her maiden reverie has a charm her ringlets are in taste what an arm what a waist for an arm! With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romney's limning true. What a lucky dog were you, Grandpapa! Her lips are sweet as love. They are parting. Do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly, and seem to say, Come! What funny fancy slips from atween these cherry lips? Whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint, What canon says I mayn't marry thee? That good-for-nothing time has a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, Her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her looks as white as snow, Once shamed the swarthy crow, By and by that foul's avenging sprite Set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. While I wot with her needles would she sit, And for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay! Her charms had dropped away one by one. But if she heaved a sigh with a burden, It was thy will be done, In travail, as in tears, With the fardle of her years overpast, In mercy she was born, Where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmamma, this nether world agrees, twill all the better please, Grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.